On this planned protest, Managing Editor Avalon Daly, Ayo Daly Adio, joins me on the news at one. At Mr. Adio, another protest is brewing, and this time on Nigeria's Independence Day. Is this a coincidence, and do you have concerns that this protest might be hijacked like that which held in August? Um, well, listen, if I have any concerns, my concerns are really around the cost of living crisis that Nigerians are grappling with. Is the rise in insecurity across many parts you know, of the country? Is the fact that most families can no longer afford you know, two square meal a day. They can't pay for energy. They can't fuel their cars. They can't fuel their generators. They are struggling to pay electricity bills. And for me, that is the reality of millions of Nigerians. And that is what really and truly bothers me the most. The fact that the standard of living has so collapsed that household expenditure is swallowing up most families living there in depression and in lack. And, you know, if these conditions persist, I just wonder if it would have costs to be set. Mentors events like um, our Independence Day and other festivities that will come up in the next couple of months. The reality is that the average Nigerian is struggling to survive, to put his head above water. And every other thing, trust me, is, is really and truly secondary. Um, to the protest that you talked about, people have a legitimate right to vent. People have a right to express their grievances as long as it's done in a very peaceful and coordinated manner. Uh, and I don't think that, you know, it's, you know, the, the conversation around whether it's going to be hijacked or not, for me, is neither here nor there. It's the same playbook we sing about every time Nigerians want to protest. I think that what we should be focusing our attention at this very moment is what is instigating people um, seeking to go out on the streets to protest. And the chief instigator is the cost of living crisis that is, you know, swallowing up the discretionary income of most Nigerians and has essentially pauperized millions of Nigerians. You saw the last... Yes, I yes. hear you, Mr. Adio, and you know that uh, it's also in line with this that the federal government has announced this will be a low-key celebration, no parade like you would usually have at the Eagle Square. But then, of course, also, uh, being able to manage the protest is another concern, which the authorities, uh, you know, are concerned about uh, because they wouldn't want a situation where uh, a protest which should be peaceful becomes violent and in, in, in the midst of it all, you, you have uh, buildings, you have properties looted and destroyed. I think that is another important issue, don't you think? And how do you think, what, what really is your call to organizers of this protest to ensure that it's as peaceful as they have proposed? Well, I mean, to be extremely honest with you, I'm sorry that I sound a bit grumpy this afternoon. But, but listen, I, I'm just a bit tired of, of having conversations around whether protests are going to be peaceful or not, or what people are doing to stop protesters from getting violent. You and I know that, you know, none of us wishes for violence. It's, it's something that, you know, I, I, I've consistently condemned over the years. And every right-thinking Nigerian does condemn um, any sort of protest that resorts to violence. But the reality is, again, we have to go back to the elephant in the room. And I, you know, for, for want of um, sounding like a broken record, th th there is something that is instigating people to want to go to the streets to protest. And it doesn't matter how many times we talk about how we're going to manage people on the streets or not, or whether we're, people are provoked or not, or whether we're going to stop people from being violent or not. I think we need to have you know, a serious conversation about dealing with the elephant in the room. And that's a conversation that we seem not to um, have expended enough energy on. If you looked at certain reports, you know, just yes, last week, um, the NBS had put out the unemployment figures. And unemployment in Nigeria has risen astronomically. About 4 million people were unemployed in 2023 alone. If you looked at the expenditure of governors in Nigeria on entertainment funds alone in the last 10 months, they spent billions on entertainment in government houses across the entire country. When you juxtapose that together, you see 
a complete disconnect between the governed and those who are purportedly being governed in this country. So uh, forgive me, but the conversation really and truly, I, I really don't want to expend energy talking about protesters. I hear you, Mr. Adio. Who, but really, the elephant in the room here is that we have to fix the cost of living crisis in our country. We have to prevail over politicians to stop this wasteful expenditure that they have embarked on in the last couple of years. We have to ensure that our budgets are targeted at driving productivity. We have to, as a matter of national urgency, begin to lift people out of poverty and create meaningful employment opportunities that raises income standards of the average Nigerian. We need to give hope to the average Nigerian that they can climb the social ladder. We need to inspire confidence in the woman down the road who is selling Akara and has trained her children to school, hoping that when these kids graduate, they are going to lift her from that condition. But unfortunately, the reality is that she still has to give them money from the little Akara she's selling because these graduates can't find jobs. That's yeah. the reality of our country 64 years after. And this, for me, should be on the front burner, should be eating up national conversations. Uh, I, I, like I said, I, I'm truly sorry, but, you know, people who want to vent can vent. I, I just don't concern myself about that. I want to concern myself about the chief instigator All and right. the crisis that we face as a country and as a people. All right, Mr. Adia, I was going to ask you about your counsel, about how authorities should handle this. But of course, you have ruled all of that into your response. Thank you so much, Ed, Managing Editor Avalon Daily, Ayodele Adia, for talking to us on TVC News at 1.